in the early days, it wasn't wasn't um it wasn't all rosy. I would say easily. And let me tell you why it wasn't rosy. It wasn't rosy because I think I already talked about our initial challenges. But I think gradually, by God's grace, humility. God gave me humility. Honestly, I was humble. Um, I had a very I have a very good mother. My mother was very very attentive. My mother was a, is a counselor even till today. She's my guide. She talks to me when I'm going left. She tells me, "Mira, go right. This is this is the right. I will not mean the eh? So my mother was always there as a counselor and guide for me. So she helped me a lot in deciding to pick my husband. Let me move on very quickly. What advantages would you say has helped you through your career? Um, my career, um, I'll say because I, I found my own career. I didn't go to somebody else's career. I was there. I'm I mean, in the media because of of I because I chose there. So. I, no matter what the storms are, I definitely always ensure that God helps me overcome. So I was very, very careful. Um, they have, uh, trust me, I've been to, those of you that work with me in TVC understand that I've been through some challenges. So maybe you don't know, I got sacked in TVC. They fired me in 2015, Tabi. TVC sacked me. I was sacked. But God raised people from all over and got my job back for me five days after. That's a testimony I'm going to write in the book. Five days, it was as if the heavens just wanted to fall apart. But five days, I got my job back. But that's the story for another day. Um, secret of my weight loss. Auntie, I'm not, I'm not lost with it. I'm working on it. It's not easy. <laughs> Let me find another story. Do, do your children speak French? No, they don't. May I teach them how to read? Well, we'll talk about that. How do you under fame and marriage? And as oh. Uh, See, this issue of fame, I'm personally, I don't think I'm famous. I don't think so. Um, I think I'm still work in progress. But I think one thing that worked for me is that I carry my husband along. You see, because I've, I've had opportunities where I meet people or people, ah, governor, give me up every year. You know, I don't go alone, no. I say, my husband, when he's like, governor, like, why wants to see me? Can we go together? If he says no, I tell the person, I saw my husband said, Sorry, no, I don't say my husband said, I just said, sorry, I cannot come. Something happened. But my husband said, let's go together. So I go with my husband. I never go to any of these public places by myself. Because when you're out there in the limelight, people always have this perception of, yeah, either she's divorced, either she's single, either uh, they just look at you derogatively as, yeah, be auntie, you know? You know how Nigerian society looks at you? They judge you because you don't have a husband in your life. Now, personally, I don't agree with that judgment because I know a lot of single women who are successful and doing great things and we, they, they deserve the equal or even better respect than a married woman does absolutely totally i hate the fact that you judge a woman based on either she's married or not married but because i know i am married whenever people are pushing me out there ah mario the other day i went to somebody's house somebody an important person i won't mention his name i went to his house and he saw me ah mario mama, mama. he just called he just pulled me as he was pulling me, I was pulling my husband. In fact, we had not entered this house. The security guard now pushed my husband because they don't know how husband. They pushed me, now pushed me inside with the man. I said, ah, sir, daddy, you first I talk on me, sir. It's my husband is outside because I want to call him. Hey, hey, how can you want me to sir? Yes, he's out there. Now to the security, she opened up for him. He now entered. What I did was I let the man know that it's not just Mariah that is here. I'm here with my husband. So you see me together with him. I'm not available for Shino. I'm not available for uh, auntie, uh, auntie, or this girl. Come, come, you know, come on, come on, collect, come on, collect. You cannot give me and my husband together. Don't bother. So, as you are going in limelight, especially when you are out there, you must always carry your spouse along. If not, now there are some spouses. Come on, Shori, come, come, come. Yeah, what is it? I don't want to go. Just stay your house, stay your house. There are men like that too. If that is your cross, me, yeah, I don't know how to handle that situation though. Maybe you just get jelly. Follow the ego and uh, understand. Stay with him until he gives you that uh, kini. But thank God by God's grace and mercy, I don't have that. I have a man that's understanding, that has confidence in himself, that knows himself. If you see my husband, you see, you guys, I, I interviewed him recently. But trust me, you don't know my husband. When you see him, his posture last time exudes confidence. So you can't see him and say, he lay in patch. You see, you mean, me, me and say, I'm patching on him. <laughs> it's not the other way around. So when I when, whenever I am being thrown out, oh Mariah, come for an interview. I said, please come my husband come along with me. They said no. I said, Brown, 
these people they don't want to they say, they say it's only me so I, because i have given him a lot of regard and respect he says oh, go ahead go ahead it's your show go ahead do, do your thing do your thing he lets me go but he always knows i carry him along i don't do anything outside him at all i carry him along in this thing called limelight so that we are doing it together so because if you make yourself shine out there and your husband is just one baba in the house after a while he will frustrate your efforts after a while he will feel as if ah, when you question no more if, for example now if you are the md if you are an ed of a bank you are high up there you are talking to the ceos of international companies and there and you have an inter a dinner and you go alone don't go alone now when your husband call, let your husband be there with you let him stand there with you and let and introduce him, introduce him to people that he that is in his own industry that he can talk to let him feel as if that listen I, I i respect you i honor you you are here you know so those are and i'm sure lots of women do that but there's some men because of their ego they don't want to follow their wives to those kind of events now that's a problem the man is the fact maybe, maybe brown should come and explain how we can deal with that kind of man can you call brown let's see if he show let me play brown okay. if you in a situation where you have a husband that i'll call brown if it's brown will answer us this afternoon hopefully if you can help us deal with that issue let me move on how submissive are you do you at times do what you feel no matter what partner submission let me talk about submission for a moment um submission is hard oh man there are times when myself and brown i just start cool i just say and i realize that every time i stand on something i lose because <laughs> see my in fact my husband is not making you the if he wants it because there's nothing he wants to do i will try to put my foot down no we're not doing this way story by the time you finish shouting down the head, I'll say, you know what, Brown, just do what you want to do. So sometimes I feel as if, <laughs> and sometimes I feel as if he bullies me. But he always wins, no matter what, he always wins. So um, submission can be difficult sometimes. I, I agree. It's not easy to submit in some instances. But I just swallow my ego. I say, well, let him have his way. If you like, that's Wala. Um, what is Brown. Sorry, one second, please. Can you and there's somebody there's a question that they asked that um oh there was a question I see about uh pay husband ah. stop brown I'm trying to get brown brown can you come this way? You tell me the question first. I'll tell the question the question is that brown is here I'm trying to get him in. um me see I want to put on since let me see if I can go back how do you handle submission I think this is submission ah, I can't remember Please, can someone remember? I forgot the question. Oh. Um, ah, I can't believe I forgot it. Uh, when you remember you okay, ah, me too, I got it. Please, you guys remember what I wanted to ask Brown? Please type it, let me know. I can't remember again. Let's move on. Uh, hey, ha, limelight. No, no, it's not limelight. It's not uh, how to handle fame. Um, okay, so yes, how to handle fame. Thank you very much. So, the idea was that I was saying that as I'm growing, as when people know me, I always ensure that I carry you along and everything. But in a situation whereby a husband feels like this is your this is your thing. Like for example, a woman is a high flyer now. Okay. She's a high flyer. And that the, the woman now feels like I want to carry my husband along. But he's just refusing to be carried along. I want to take him to I want to take him for company dinners. I want to, you know, I want to I want him to be there with me. He may not be at that level, but he's being he's resisting it. What can a woman do in that situation, do you think? Honestly, you have to show now. Well, you don't know how to answer that question. Okay. Do you know, how do you answer that question? Well, I think that's a horrible situation. Okay. Because that's a, a good woman who wants to carry you along and you just insist you want to sit down at home. The woman may be compelled to carry on without you, but, but in, indirectly what you're basically doing you are cramping the woman's style now for me i have a famous wife and uh, i envisage she may become far far more famous and the truth is we go to a lot of places together but even at this stage i already reckon that there may be times when i will not be able to join her when when the chips are really really high when the stakes are high she may have to be there alone these are things I've already realized. Mm. And it's not a problem for me. Now, I always tell my wife, 
I see my wife as my child. The kind of relationship I have with my wife is like a father-daughter kind of relationship. Now, the average father there, imagine your daughter in school, right? What you want for your daughter is to be the first in the class. During inter sport, you want your children to get the gold medal. You want them to be performing at the best of their abilities. That's how I see all my children. That's how I see Moraya as well. You get So if you see your family members, your wife and your children like that, and if you trust them, because first, first of all, I trust my wife. There is nobody I trust as much as I trust my wife in the world. Then if you are able to trust them enough, you should be able to know that without you being there, they are actually going to represent you well. Mm -hmm. They will never put you to shame. They will never disgrace you. Right. And then you have to be confident in yourself. For, I, I'll put it this way. Mm -hmm. I, my level of self-confidence, uh, it's not that I'm boasting about it. And I'm not trying to sound proud or arrogant. From the, from the time I was a child, since I was four years old, since I, let me see all that more, please. I'm blocking you. They can see it, don't worry. Yeah. Since I was four years old, my father had already trained me, groomed me to be self confident. I'll be fine if I married somebody else. I'll be fine. I'm fine that I married Mo. If I married an unknown woman, I'll be fine. If I married a more famous woman, I'll be fine. My self confidence has nothing to do with my relationship with my wife. Whether my wife is famous or not famous, the relationship is going to remain the same. I'm only going to look after how they're going to become the best they can be. Right. Now, so from a very early stage, I suggest you groom your children to be self-confident. Right. But in the case of the man you're talking about, a man who doesn't want to be there, who doesn't want to show face, honestly, I will only plead with a, a man in that situation, give your wife the opportunity to be the best they can be. Right. Okay, before I let you go, um, there's a question that do you feel you have equal power in marriage? Do you think we have equal power in marriage? Morayo, it's not about power. I'm not looking for power in marriage. I'm not aware of the power I have in marriage. Like I said, I'm not going to contest with power with my children. I'm not going to contest with, for power with Elizabeth or Michael or Michelle or any of them. They are my children. Just like you, Morayo. That's how I see you. My own child. Yes, that's how I see you. Brown. So, so I'm, not, I'm not trying to seek any kind of power. And the truth about power is that once you give a lot of love, you show a lot of kindness. You show a lot of concern, a lot of care for your family. Naturally, what you get back is extreme love. You get extreme loyalty. You get extreme faithfulness. And honestly, I don't know how best to describe power. When the members of your family, your children, your wife, when they love you, they are, they are loyal to you, they trust you, they believe in you, they are confident in you, they respect and regard you. You see, if you have all that, I don't know the definition of the power you are okay. looking for. All right, so I guess this person was just like, you have equal power in marriage. So I guess you can answer that question. Okay. There's no, there's no power tussle. There, it's not about power tussle. Okay. All right. Um... Don't say, how often do you talk on phone with your partner? I'm not sure what that means. Do you still feel the same you felt for your partner at the beginning of the relationship? Brown, you can go now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll call you back. Please stand by just in case I need you again. Okay. Thank you. All right. So it says, do you still feel the same you felt for your partner in the beginning of the relationship? Oh, certainly. Um, in fact, I think it's grown over time. Um, how I felt my husband in the beginning has definitely grown. Um, this first one matter, me and Brown will talk about it. I'm his first one. Actually, he actually talks about me. He tells me that I'm like his first child. Oh, I'm his first child. Okay, so if that's, how, if that's how you want to see it, no problem. Um, so, but um, yeah. So, I think it has grown. When we started off, there was a lot of uncertainty, issues of um, managing our funds and resources. You know, so there was a lot of uneasiness in the beginning but gradually god has god has helped us to smoothen things out his business is doing well and the major bills have, have been taken care of so he's 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 and he's he, his confidence has obviously grown even more and so he's fine he's very fine um 
do your spouse relationship do your spouse's relationship with other friends concern you interestingly my husband has a very good circle of friends um he has he, i mean all our so all our friends are, are like us all our friends his own friends their family very like us my own friends my family all of us we have that closely we all have a good relationship with our, with our friends so i have no issues with his friends now the female friends my husband has a few female friends there was one um i met him he had one of his best friends is female uh funke she's like one of his best friends they are close brown can be on the phone with funke like 11 p.m at night and i'll be on the bed he'll be talking to funke at night they are they are cool and funke, funke and I are cool like that so they are, that's his body and she's somebody that i know very well so i know i know there's nothing but they are cool like that um but because but well, she's the only one i can call him at that time who, all the other friends cannot call him at that time but funke can call my husband anytime in fact there was a time there was a time that when we went to funke's place they had they had some kind of they had to be somewhere and 11 30 pm my husband was on home he said brown hey brown i kept calling his phone was switched off and i called him out he did not find a way to you know use funke's call to, to, to call me at 11 30 pm i said what's going on where are you ah I was not here forget. Man, be no, oh, Maria, don't do the love. Man, be no, forget, forgive us. I'm bringing him. You no, know, like, something happens with the car. You know, I wasn't worried. I knew they were fine, but just that they are that cool. So I know forget, forget is, is like his boys, like his girl. I mean, they are cool like that. But she's also my own person. They are like, and I like her. And I trust her with all my heart and soul. So there's no issue with that. But there are other female friends that Femi has that I, I'm not in that friendship. I am in the friendship with Funke, but the other ladies. I'm not in friends. I'm not. I'm not friends with them. But I know them. But I trust my husband. He's he's my husband. So I'm not worried about him being friends with any other person. I trust him. So there's no issue. If I have an issue, I will let him know. But I don't have an issue, and I think we're fine. Um, what was your first impression about my partner? Honestly, eh? Um, my impression about my husband. Hmm. When I first met him, I will not lie to you. Ah, thank God he's not around. Okay, I think it's only it's one people who listen to us somewhere else. When I met my husband, Brown, ah, initially when I the first place I met him was at um karaoke on the island. We went out our first date. So it was dark. He was telling me I live in a car, I live in um, off Queen's Drive, because ye as a young girl, yeah, Queen's Drive, yeah, yeah, now wow, now wow, nice looking guy, fine guy. Ah, ah. I was just like, yeah, okay. So the next date we met at a mall. We met at the mall and i saw my husband like now i was seeing him in broad daylight and i was just like hmm boy he, he said he's a lawyer he used to work in oil and gas company he said he's gonna go he's looking very very scruffy what's going on here you know i had that initial i mean i was a high flyer young lady working at high tv you know driving a nice car you know i was looking very very on point he wasn't he wasn't looking the part trust me no way they tell you that when you, when you meet your husband you're not sure I, was, I went home, I went to my tell my mom, people, what to move you? Mommy, like, we well, look scruffy back on. Mommy, uh, don't oh, worry, don't say that. Man, look, my ma, 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 don't look at that. Just ask about his family and everything. So I asked about his family, and when he was ticking all the boxes I had written, I said, you know what? Let me trust God in this. This is definitely a good man. And so my first, my initial impression was like, who is this guy? He looks, he doesn't look like the kind of guy I want to be with. But honestly, he was exactly the perfect guy that I needed. He was a perfect guy eventually um let me find out hello morale as a career woman what do you contribute in the family um as of today i don't my husband does most of the contributions um the only thing i do in my house is pay for the cable i do i pay for food i think i than lesson and lesson fees that's it lesson fees food and cable that's all i do like by god's grace and mercy my husband does everything else i thank god for that it's not by might it's not my power but it's by the spirit of god I thank God for that opportunity. Um, tell me something about your last job. Other than money, what would have inspired you to keep working there? Um, my last job was high TV, TVC. I mean, those are like family places. I worked there. And um, um, oh, so yeah, Funke is married, please. Hey, Funke is married. For those of you thinking, Funke is not single. My, my husband's friend, she's married. He's not a kini. She's married. I know her husband. And I know her house. I've slept in a house very well, <laughs> so there's no issue. Funke is a married woman. I'm just, I'm just, um, so just I had to put that there. Okay. Um, where do I buy human hair from? Ah, uh -uh. don't you know BC? BC on TVC. 
at BC Ubo. That's her handle. Please go and tell it. Go and uh, go and patronize my sister. I beg. BC sells. BC sold this to me. Very nice. And she started this business. Please. I beg. Go. I beg. Support my sister. Um, should one focus on career alone and not bother at all about physical attraction? Physical attraction is, is also good. It's important. It's not. Um, there's there's those on and off, up and down, up and down. Um, but um, you see, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They tell us that growing up, but we thought it's a joke. It's the truth. What, this person that is fine to you, that is fine to you. Ah, what's going on? I'm saying free from girl. What did you forget to you? <laughs> so I shouldn't have even used her real name. She's married, though. Please, Wodara. Come and let me know. What have you to? Thank God I didn't use her son name. She's married. Please, there's no issue. Please. Hey, Wodara. 